Pick it up top of the second. Red Sox up two to one. David Ortiz up. That's a base hit. Julio Lugo comes around to score. That's right, Julio Lugo. He's activated Monday, his first game back since a quad injury in July. Also hurt his right knee in March. Next batter is Kevin Euclid. That'll bring home Dustin Pedroia and Ortiz. 5 to 1 Red Sox. Anthony Reyes didn't make it out of the third inning for Cleveland. Bottom of the third. Mark DeRosa at the plate. Lugo can't handle the throw from Euclid, maybe a little rusty. Shin Su Chu scores, and he is down 7 4. Lugo's first game all season again, maybe a little rusty. Next batter has been Francisco. That one's gone. Three run shot for Francisco, his second of the season, game tied up at seven. Brad Penny wouldn't make it out of the third inning either. We go to the bottom of the ninth now. Two outs tied at eight. Astro Ball Cabrera up with a runner on. Over to first. Euclid's nice stab, but Javier Lopez can't hang on. Here comes DeRosa around from second to score. Look again, Lopez, he just bobbled it. Indians win at 9 8, so Boston's 11 game win streak is over. Just Cleveland's second win over Boston in their last 11 meetings with the Red Sox. Pedroia three for four with a pair of runs. Dropped seven straight, still led the NL East when the day began, and Gary Sheffield was honored before the game because he hit his 500th home run as a Met, and in the bottom of the first, two on, one out. Hey, get out! 501. Not quite. You know, uh, through 11 games at the new park, the Mets have not hit a single home run between the power alleys, and Sheffield, he looked back at the wall after that one, and thought it should be out. Ninth triple in 11 games at the new field. Uh, Jorge can too. He's he's going to hit it out. Two run homer to left and a 3-0 game is now 3-2. Top seven, if some is good, more is better. It's can two again, this time off Sean Green. Two home run, five RBI. The Marlins will go on to win a 7-4 year final. They won seven, they lost seven, and they win one. Hey, maybe they're ready to get on a roll again. Joel Pinheiro got to 4-0 on Monday for the Cardinals against Atlanta. Kyle Lowe's trying to do the same thing on Tuesday, facing his counterpart Jojo Reyes. And then Omar Infante, Lowe's third strike out of the game. He had six Ks and six shutout innings, even with an upset stomach. Said he almost threw up in the bullpen, but he got some help from his defense. Reyes made contact that time, but Brendan Ryan, he's been a daily fixture making these kinds of plays. Still one nothing after five. Bottom eight, bases loaded, full count, still one nothing. Matt Diaz facing Kyle McClellan after McClellan had walked the bases loaded. And Diaz drives in two. Braves take a two to one lead, and what do you know, that's the final score. Diaz was just trying to do whatever he could. He had been 0 for 3 with two strikeouts when he came up. Will the Dodgers' Chad Billingsley be the Majors' first five game winner? He's 4 0 with a 205 ERA. Not if the Giants can help it, though. Bottom one, scoreless. Randy wins on first. Pablo Sandoval picking on Billingsley. Win looking around third right there. Matt Kemp to Rafael for call to Russell Martin. And oh, you are so out, dude. Bottom six, Billingsley in a jam. Game tied two on for Emmanuel Burris. It's called the seed to James Loney, the out, and then he throws the third double play. Travis Ishikawa out. Bottom eight, Giants down 3-2, bases loaded, two out. Jonathan Broxton replaced Billingsley, and he walks Rich Aurelia. Aaron Rowan scores, game tied. The run is Billingsley, he will get no decision. And next batter, uh, Eugenio. Velez, say that three times fast. Eugenio Velez, Eugenio Velez, Eugenio Velez. Yeah, you're just showing off. Uh, Andre <laughs> Ethier, you asked me to do it. Manny Ramirez, three for three with three doubles. Second career three double game. He scores, made it four three. The Dodgers go on to win five three. They're four and one against the Giants this season. Games best story of last season was the race Tampa Bay and Minnesota. Uh, Francisco Liriano 0, 0 and 4 with a 706 ERA, but he, he's got the lead for the first time this season. Looks good. He just asked Jason Bartlett. Still 2 0. Evan Longoria hits it to right center. RBI double. BJ Upton scores. The Rays would later tie it on a sack fly. So Liriano, no decision. Six and two thirds, three Ks. First pitch that Ben Zobris saw pinch hitting against Joe Nathan left the park. This game is tied, and Ron Gardenhire said, thinking 
That didn't go the way I had planned. This will. Bottom nine, J.P. Howell is in a fix. He's loaded the bases. Justin Morneau grounds, and he's wearing his PF flyers. Beats it out, runs, scores. Twins win 4-3. In first place in the AL West. Let me say that again. Seattle Mariners in first place in the AL West. M's in Chicago for two after Monday's rainout. Uh, Chris Jakubowskis facing Paul Canerco. He grounds down the left field line and two score. The White Sox lead 2 0. Bartolo Colon facing Franklin Gutierrez. Colon, seven innings, four hits, six Ks, nothing earned. And then uh, Jakubowskis. Say that three times fast. I try. I can't really say it. Jack one times Jack slow. Eight innings, innings two earned. <laughs> Vladimir Ballantin against Bobby Jenks, and Jenks was caffeinated. Shortest nine-inning game of the season, an hour, 52 minutes. Charity events, well, not well. <laughs> uh, my swing's worse than Barkley's. All right, hey, well, these plays are all really good. Ben Gordon's pass deflected by Rajon Rondo. Derek Rose. Catches it in midair for the alley oop kickoff top plate. She's a beauty, that number nine. Red Sox, Indians, J.D. Drew, and Ben Francisco. Another one of Bucci's sayings. More from this game later. More from Bulls and Sutters. Look at the pass from Brad Miller to Joe Kim Noah. Free throws. With not a so much. Left, not yeah. so good, but he, he can make the one-handed pass. It, it, it appears not to be a sports center if Jason Bay is not involved. Oh, Gonzaga still in the house. Bay taking that one away from Grady Sizemore, but he gets the top play. Indians got the win. And number six, Mariners and White Sox. This is game two of their doubleheader. Josh Fields. Uh, that ball, a little grounder, hit Felix Hernandez. But Jose Lopez is there. He's like, anybody can do it with a glove. Barehanded. In time, Mariners take game two of the doubleheader 9-1. to one. How about five? Cardinals Braves. Jojo Reyes. Grounder. Brendan Ryan. Wow. Going left, throwing right. That's impressive. You know, this game was so impressive. We've got more from him right now. And number four, Greg Norton at the plate. Norton looks like he hit one to the moon. I'll wait. Norton looked like he hit one to the moon. To the moon, Alice! Rick and Keel makes the diving catch to rob Norton of extra bases. Cardinals would lose 2-1. to one. At three, UEFA, Champions League, Chelsea, Barcelona. Didier Drogba. Shot saved by Victor Valdez. Not once, but twice! Let it breathe. Game would end in a scoreless tie. That's what Americans love about soccer. Number two, <laughs> Rangers and Capitals. Victor Kozlov's rebound opportunity saved by Henrik Lundqvist, who did everything he could for the Rangers. But the Capitals win it 2-1. to They advance to the Eastern Conference semifinals. This is a not top 10 play if you're a New Jersey Devils fan. Tim Gleason keeping it alive. UC Yoken for the game-tying goal against Martin Brodeur. It looks like overtime is inevitable. But less than a minute later, Eric Stahl beats one of the great goalies of all time. Two late goals, the Devils eliminated. The Canes will meet the Bruins. Dodgers and Giants, L.A. just trying to make contact against Tim Lincecum, which has been hard to do for opponents. At least 12 Ks in two consecutive starts. He gets Andre Ethier there. He retired four in a row at that point. Top four, Rafael for call. You can sit down, too. 11 retired in a row for Lincecum in three Ks. Top four, Andre Ethier in to take his hacks. But to no avail, he's down swinging. We go to the fifth. Russell Martin, your turn. Sit down. Top five, Lincecum facing Casey Blake. That's strike one. That's strike two. And that's strike three. They just couldn't catch up to it. Top seven, Lincecum facing Blake again. And Blake struck out swinging, this time low and outside. Lincecum, seven innings of work, six hits, three runs, only eight strikeouts. He's, he's really not that good. Giants going to win it. 9-4, 33 Ks and three starts. Best team last year against the worst team this year. Phillies hosting the Nationals. Philadelphia has won five straight. Scott Olson 0-3 with a 729 ERA. Bases low to bottom four. Chris Coase grounded to third. Ryan Zimmerman. The stop and the out at first. Bottom six. Nats 3-1. One on, two out. And Olsen gives up back-to-back signals to sing, singles to Ryan Howard and Raul Labanez, and he's pulled after five and two-thirds. Okay, the Nats bullpen. Awful. You saw it. 0-7. 551 ERA. Six blowing saves. But Garrett mocked. Don't mock me! 
He ends the six, gets Pedro Feliz. Kip Wells now, two on, two out, Matt Stairs. Don't mock me, he gets Matt Stairs. The Nats bullpen holds again. Philly Strand, 10, and then bottom, ten, bottom nine. Julian Tavares gets Shane Victorino, who homered earlier. Those two have a little history. Washington bullpen, three and a third, scoreless. And the Nats win it, 4-1. Indians snap Boston's 11-game win streak Tuesday. Boston looking to start another one Wednesday in Cleveland. Mark DeRosa, four for five with a home run and four runs on Tuesday in that win. And then bottom second Wednesday, he picks up where he left off. Off John Lester, four straight hit on the series for DeRosa. Lester gave up five runs in six innings. And then DeRosa says, you know, it's not just about the bat. Look at the glove work, the backhanded stop. We go to the top of the eighth now. Two on, 5-2 Indians. Jeff Bailey over to DeRosa. What? Well, you know, you can't make every play. That was a potential double play ball, so now the bases are loaded. Later in the inning, 5-4 Indians, two outs, two on for Jacoby Ellsbury. That'll get through off Jensen Lewis, and the Red Sox tie it at five. Bottom eight, Ryan Garko up. Jonathan Van Every started in right field for J.D. Drew, and he makes the grab. He was in the Indians minor league system from 2000 to 2007. And then later in the eighth, with the bases loaded, Manny Del Carmen facing Grady Sizemore. There's Van Every again, inning over. Top 10, game still tied at five. Van Every has taken over the highlight. His first major league home run. How you like me now, Cleveland? Red Sox win at 6-5. They play without Kevin Euclid, who was resting a sore back, and Julio Lugo, who had a stiff knee. Expanding faster than the universe. Bartender, bioblast. Grinky, he's 4-0. 0.00 ERA. That's like the cat from Animal House's GPA. 43 consecutive innings without allowing an earned run, and he's going to appear on your next Sports Illustrated cover. And getting a little Nolan Ryan comparisons. In trouble, though, early. Runner on second, Aaron Hill swinging. All right, we'll keep it at nothing. Next batter, Alex Rios, swinging. Keep it at 0.00. 0, .00. 0.00. Mr. Blutarski. Burning well. <laughs> Single to center field. Marco Scudero scores. Granky's ERA is now 0.30. I, I have seen Animal House. Congratulations. You're valedictorian of the fraternity now. <laughs> Bottom two. Same score. Billy Butler. There's one for your bartender. Jack. Game tied. Butler's first of the year. We go bottom five. It's Royal 6-2. Butler. <laughs> One shot ain't enough, Jack. You better make it two. Royal's up 7-2. Butler second. You've seen both highlights. And then Granky in the sixth. Lyle Overbay. Good game to watch. Granky finished with eight strikeouts. His ERA on the season, 0.50. And the Royals win. 11-3 is your final. Chicago needs to beat visiting Seattle to avoid its first losing April since 2001. Carlos Quentin against Sean Kelly is going to do his best to make sure that happens in a game tied at three in the bottom of the seventh. He goes solo his eighth. And if some is good, more is better. Jermaine Dye, former Hawaii Winter Leaguer, back-to-back -back jacks his sixth. Their minds on home runs, home runs on their minds. There, White Sox win it. 6-3 is your final. Griffey Jr. Won. How about Adrian Beltre? Four for four. Of course, A-Rod injured and not with the club. Nick Swisher, Swisher Sanitation. Left-handed batting Swisher, three-run homer. His six, Java Chamberlain, who got the start, loves it. It's 3-1. Later in the inning, Derek Jeter. Ground ball to short and uh, wearing his PF Flyers. Keeps the inning alive. They chase Rick Porcello in three and two thirds. Uh, Clay Rapata, first batter he faced was Hideki Matsui. That's going to be a three run double. The Yankees with seven runs in the fourth. Take a 7 1 lead. Let's go to the fifth now. It's the right handed batting, Nick Swisher. He's a swish hitter. Kenton Wong, oh. the assist. <laughs> Team high seventh home run. ESPN research in the house. 8 1 Yankees. All right, it's 8 3, and so they're going to bring in Mariano Rivera. Let's close this thing out. But first, let's go legal flashback. Jason Bay. Red Sox, two run homer, bottom of the ninth to tie the game, and the Red Sox would win it in extras. Let's go back to Wednesday. Two on, two outs. Curtis Granderson. Oh, no. 
three run homer, seventh of the season. We got an eight six game. First time Rivera has given, given up home runs in back to back outings since 03. But the next batter, Placido Polanco, pops out. All is right in the in the empire. The Yankees win it. 8-6, take the series two games to one. Chamberlain picks up his first win of the season. Seven innings, three hits, one earned, and six Ks. Johan Santana had a Wednesday at 3-1, and one, the only team to beat him, the Marlins. They met again Wednesday in New York. Josh Johnson going for Florida. Top six tied at two. Santana gets Ronnie Paulino. He struck out seven. Seven innings work, five hits. He was fine. Josh Johnson, bottom of the six, gives up a solo home run to Fernando Tatis. But hold on a minute. Umpires have a conference and decide to review the play, and we take another look at it because we can. A fan actually misses the ball, and we find out that that guy can't catch, but the ball did hit above the orange line. No interference. It's a home run. Mets up 3-2. Eighth inning, J.J. Putts pitching now. Runners on second and third. The Mets bullpen blowing it again. Jorge Cantu and Jeremy Hermida score. Marlins take a 4-3 lead. Bottom nine now. Marlins ahead 4-3. Matt Lindstrom pitching. Runners on second and third with two outs, and Lindstrom hits Tatis. So the base is loaded now. Then the Mets called on Omir Santos to hit. He was warming up a pitcher in the bullpen. Lindstrom and company waiting and waiting and waiting, and finally Santos grabs a bat to pinch it for Ramon Castro and pops out. And the Marlins going to win it 4-3. Jerry Manuel said after the game he thought Santos had a better shot against Lindstrom because of his shorter swing. Didn't turn out that way. Mets 1-4-11 with runners in scoring position. Only two runs in each of the last three games. It was enough to beat the Cardinals on Tuesday. What about Wednesday? Albert Pujols has that look in his eye. Braves already had three runs at that point. Pujols brings Brian Barton home. His 26 RBI ties the game at three. Next batter, Chris Duncan with two on. Adam Wainwright comes around to score. St. Louis up 4-3. They had six singles in the fifth, and they got four runs. Wainwright actually had one of those singles and an RBI. 8-0 in his last 12 starts dating back to last season. And a base is loaded jam in the bottom of the fifth. He gets David Ross. And then bottom six, Braves still down 5-3. Runner on first. He gets Uno Escobar to ground out 6-4-3. Colorado goes on to win at 5-3. Uh, the Cardinals, rather, going to win at 5-3. Brendan Ryan left the game with tightness in his right hamstring. Company looking to further their dominance over the Pirates. They won 14 straight against them. Top first, no score. Giovanni Gallardo facing Brandon Moss. Third strike. Game remains scoreless. Top five, still no score. Gallardo gets Ramon Vasquez this time. He finished with a career high 11 strikeouts and eight innings of work. He allowed just two hits. Now he's at the plate facing Ian Snell. It was a scoreless game. Gallardo's like, look, I'll handle the run support myself. Second home run of the season, fourth of his career, and it gives the Brewers a lead, and they win it 1-0. Company, bottom third, 2-0 Rockies, two out, nobody on, Helton off Kevin Correa. Advantage Helton, second home run of the year. Correa, five innings, three runs, six hits, 3-0 Rockies. Arturo Lopez making his major league debut, he walks Seth Smith, he walks Ryan Spielborgs, that'll load the bases. Next batter is Helton. Welcome to the majors, Arturo. Two runs come around to score, 7-0 Rockets. Top seven, Adrian Gonzalez leading off against Aaron Cook. Going a long way the other way. Solo shot for Gonzalez. That's his eighth of the season. Rockets up 7-1. But he wasn't done. Off Matt Belial. Going again. This his ninth. The Padres record for April. They pulled to within two, 7-5. Top nine, Houston Street on to close it out. And he gets Henry Blanco. Rockies win at 7-5. Cook gets his 53rd win for the Rockies, tied with Pedro Astacio for second on Colorado's list. Three runs, five hits, and seven in any celebrity sighting or anything. We got, we got Sam Jackson bringing us on. Strong, very strong. Number 10, Cardinals and Braves, Javier Vasquez up the middle. Brendan Ryan, every night Brendan Ryan is on top place, but he left the game in the fifth inning with a left hamstring injury. Tony La Russa is worried about it. She's the beauty of that number nine, Jonathan Van Every. Nice catch. Plus, he hits his first major league home run in this game, and the Red Sox win in 10. All right, number eight. How do I, how do I get this one? Mike Golick gets waxed. He, he, he lost a bet with Mike Greenberg. Uh, let it breathe. I was going to suggest the same thing. Hey, shout out to Beth, our makeup artist uh, from Bristol. Oh, love, love, you. love you, Beth. She's doing All the waxing. Right. At seven, kick it, C.D. Everton against Shivas, and check out the C.D. Everton cat here with the knuckleball past the Shivas goaltender. This game ended in a tie. Number six, Heat and Hawks, Josh Smith, freakish athleticism. And the Hawks going to win 106 to 91. 
Nats Phillies figured this was going to make the top 10 when we saw it earlier in the show. Ryan Zimmerman stop and pop from long distance. Nationals uh, beat the World Series champion Phillies 4-1. Number four Yankees and Tigers, Nick Swisher. Lefty, righty, doesn't matter. Goes deep from the left side of the plate in the third. The next time up, homers from the right side of the plate. What'd you call him? Uh, Swish hitter. There you go. I can't call them that. Sweet. I just borrowed For it. For Swisher. Yankees win 8 6. Add three more soccer because I'm blessed. It's Arsenal <laughs> against Manchester U. Knighted Man U. And it's Manuel Almunia. Find me in the right moon and Almunia. Two great saves by Almunia. Let me guess. Scoreless tie. Number two, Angels and Orioles. Chad Moeller in the hole. Macy Harris Tourists dives and throws over to first. Kendry Morales with the nice scoop. Angels going to win it 3-2. And that's number two. So number one is number, pretty good. Number one's so good, we're going to turn it up to 11. And a fly ball. Nobody's there. That's Yes, sir. Somebody catch. there. And what a catch by Vladimir Valentin. There was nobody there and then at the last second there was Vladimir Valentin great play